are headed to Stevie's Creole Cafe to chop it up with Carlos Miller, Amanda Seals, Bomani Jones, and Emmanuel Hudson. If Black Twitter was a club, they'd all have their own VIP sections. What is it about side chick, side dude humor that is so enticing? Nothing is funnier than a bad idea, man. <laughs> right? Like, these, these stories do not ever end positively. They tend to always end in ruin. Black folks love drama. And we love comedy. And so anytime that there's errors, there's going to be comedy. I'm pretty sure I've been a, a side dude. You didn't know, though? It wasn't confirmed, but you, you get a feeling in your <laughs> heart. Gut. I ain't never had no side chick, and I ain't never been a side dude, right. to, my, to my knowledge. Very I dated rappers, so the odds of yes. me being a side chick at some point are very high. Why are jokes about side chicks and side dudes more popular in the black community than in other communities? Our ability to always take everything and turn it into positive is something that black folks have been forced to do, and so it's just one of the next things that we do. What she's saying is that black Twitter's gumbo, right? Mm -hmm. And the scraps are the things that maybe the mainstream doesn't deal with, like side chick humor. But yes. we done thrown that in the root. And we over here feasting on some, and we, we cooking. Cookin'. I think it's more taboo to white people, because we know white people get down. A white, yeah. Like a white dude white to have a side cheat. chick and plan to kill his whole family so he can be with her. On Black Twitter, it's really about the side chick. Yes. Now, is that a misogynist kind of yes. situation? I think it's misogynistic because it never ends up being about the fact that you shouldn't have a side chick in the first place. The side chick is practice. How am I going to know how to treat you and what nice places <laughs> to take you if I just... I'm, I can't be in a relationship just freestyling Amanda. <laughs> my girl Amanda likes seafood. Me and my side chick need to come in here on a Thursday afternoon and see what Stevie's talking about. I'm not about to bring my baby to Stevie's in, in the combo, not the way she like it. You listening to a nigga with sunglasses on inside. That nigga with the sunglasses is something like a black Twitter pioneer. So I made this meme that says, I might not be the man crush Monday, but I smashed on side nigga Sunday. You may talk about side chicks Monday through Saturday, but thanks to Carlos, Sunday is the day to appreciate the side dude. Are these memes, is this humor normalizing adultery within our generation? Of course it normalizes it. It ain't normalizing it. It's what it's been forever and ever and ever. But it used to have ever. shame attached to it, and now uh, it don't. Mm. Yeah, but mm. Bill, Bill Clinton almost got impeached, but we knew how Bill Clinton got down a long time before that, and we made him the president. For women, it's never been a look to be a side chick. Yeah. Now, hoes be winning. You know who's also winning? Kermit the Frog. He's pretty much the mayor of Side Chick Town. That moment you see an old side chick and she is walking with the kid. Let's talk about Kermit. Kermit is from Muppets. He's not supposed to be representing smashing things on the side. Kermit the Frog got side chicks. He drinking Hennessy. Somebody photoshopped a cigarette on him. Like, mm -hmm. the places that I've seen Kermit the Frog, I'm like, she, Kermit, me too. I relate. I think it's also funny because it just represents a loss of innocence. Yeah. It's like when your parents get divorced or when you find out your grandpa cheated on your grandma once. And Kermit is here to be like, hey, your innocence is over and real stuff is happening. <laughs> Sip that tea. <laughs> I want you guys to give me some commitment humor memes for this picture right here. When you find the perfect neighborhood to raise your family in with your wife because you're faithful and you don't cheat on her. When you and your wife bought your first home together. Damn, that ain't funny. The next meme is Barack kissing Michelle in front of an Easter bunny. I got one. When he went to Carrots, uh, you what? stupid, man. You failed. The uh, only thing that I can think of is like when it's a threesome and you waiting on your turn. That's that's the <laughs> all that's, that's all I see right there. Uh, adjacent, uh, adjacent.